here with the President of Ireland, Michael D. Higgins. Michael, of course, a big League of Ireland fan. Enjoy yourself tonight at Mission Park. I think. I thought it lovely, fast, uh, clever football. It was a pleasure to watch, very easy to watch. And uh, I think maybe it changed slightly in the second half. It, there was probably, St. Pat's probably had an edge in the first half, I thought. But uh, it was a joy to watch. And particularly, there were uh, some players I was seeing for the first time. I, um, I think, I, I hope he's not injured, but. I was very much taken by Christopher Forrester, for example, who is a, a, a lovely, a, a, a lovely young player. But there were others as well, and it was a good night as well for me because uh, I didn't know until I came that uh, an award would be made to Ricky O'Flaherty, and, uh, uh, and I hadn't seen Brian Kersons before uh, the uh, presidential election. We would have met often in the past, so it was a chance to meet friends and also to see good football. Yeah. Thank you from a Pat's point of view. Shells pressed hard for equalising the second half, but Pat's held on strong for a good three points if he's on top of the league or close to top. I did. I, I thought at the same time, I thought that in relation to the play, uh, uh, St. Pat's had the edge in the first half. I think that uh, they were under pressure at times in the second half. But at the same time, I think as well, I was just saying that to somebody whose name I won't mention, is that if you had a strong player to knock down the ball and allow a bit of skill up the front, you, you probably could, should have got more value for the edge that you had on the play. But it was lovely football to watch, a joy to watch, and I think as well the, the, it, the confidence with which people were putting the ball around uh, and passing with great confidence, that was very, very clever. I think that, uh, that uh, it's interesting as well, I would say that uh, man for man, the, the, the skill probably falls on the on, on the St. Pat's side because the, the shells were a heavier side, uh, probably physically stronger. So if you like, skill won out in the end. And both set of fans made a lot of noise there tonight, uh, on their side, which obviously had a Yes, I think so. I think it's, and you know what, that is very good. One of the reasons I'm going to these games from time to time was I had a habit of uh, attending all the home games in Terryland when I was president of Bow United. And uh, I was always a, a season ticket holder and I would go to some of the away games. So I had a kind of my Friday night 7.45 set aside in the diary. So I, 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 I do think that the league should be supported. Uh, in the end of the day, the, the, the underage soccer and all the people are working voluntarily. The aspiration in your local area is to play uh, for the team that has been supported by your family and often by generations of people. That's very, very important to me. Yes, the international side of it, I've paid tribute to the fans, but I would like to see the league getting more attention. And I think what's very interesting tonight as well about that is the standard has risen. Uh, the standard uh, uh, this season, the games I've seen, has been very good. Thank you, Michael. Your face is not too far from here, so I'm hoping we see you again. No, I, I, yeah, I don't have far to go. And I, I do intend to, to, to get as many games as I can, yeah, sure. Thank you, Michael. Not at all. It's a pleasure.